Hi guys, welcome back to Posse Adventures. Uh, today I'm just going to go through, I've bought something new for the van. Uh, and what I've bought is the BC300 and Comlink. Uh, this is obviously by BM Pro. <clears throat> and the idea of it is, as any of you guys are probably aware, uh, that have been following the channel, and I'll just swing the camera around. Um, I have installed a diesel heater and an internal Anderson socket. <clears throat> now, both of those uh, devices are actually connected directly to the battery. Uh, now, what that means is, if I'm uh, the Anderson socket I use for my inverter, and I use it to charge the GoPro, I use it to charge my drone, um, cordless batteries, things like that. Um, we run our water transfer pump for filling the tanks up from it. And the problem with that is because they are directly to the battery and not going through the, um, the BM35, um, what that basically means is that the, the uh, Odyssey doesn't detect up here, doesn't actually detect the battery use when I'm using those which means it's it's um, algorithm for how fully charged the battery is um, it's complete can can actually go completely out and actually it can show that it's fully charged when it's actually not uh, and that's an issue so um, what we're going to do today is we're going to fit um, we're going to fit this BC300 uh, and that should that should resolve that issue um, this goes. This is a smart shunt and goes directly to the battery, goes to the earth terminal. Uh, and what this does is it fills in the gap. So anything that's connected directly to the battery will be measured as well. Okay, <clears throat> okay. so let's get this unboxed and see what we've got in here. Okay, so first things, um, that is a, some spare bolts and washers and what look like some sticky pads or Velcro pads in there as well. That's the shunt itself with the power lead. Now this power lead obviously is to supply power to the shunt. The shunt goes directly onto the earth terminal of the battery. Okay. Obviously I've got dual batteries, um, which shouldn't really affect it. And then underneath, I how to open this one. That's taped. This is obviously the Comlink. Oh, they obviously don't, they don't want you getting into this one. So that's the Comlink itself, which has um, connections on the back. double-sided sticky pad obviously the lead just there and of course the all-important instructions as to how to do the job okay so the first stage here is going to be to turn off the power which on mine is just there so that's turned everything off the next stage will be to disconnect the power from the batteries. So both terminals need to come off. Okay guys, so just a quick update as to what I've done. So I've had a little shuffle around with the cabling on the, on the batteries. So what I've done is I've brought all the positives um, to this left battery, so to the positive terminal. And then the negatives, all I've got is the link on this battery that goes to the other earth and then what I've done is I've pulled all the wiring out and I've pulled it all across and all of the earths are together which will be on this terminal on this battery that way the BM Pro will see it as one big battery and all of the loads are on the same terminal which is really important if I put a load onto this one it won't be measured it does have to go onto the shunt okay so we've got the shunt we're not going to connect the positive at this stage uh, all we're going to do is connect the shunt to the battery. Now the battery shunt has two terminals on it. One of them is threaded and one of them has 
flat and the threaded one has flats on the side the other one is just a straight through bolt now the bolts they gave you in the kit they give you a small bolt with a washer and a spring washer and then obviously a larger bolt which is this one which is much longer and the idea of this longer bolt is to make it so that it goes through the shunt and bolts down so i'm going to bolt this down and then i'm going to bolt all the loads to the other one and i'll come back to you when that's done okay so where are we okay so all on the left battery all my positives have gone to this terminal the positive that's on my left battery on my left battery my negative is just a single link to the negative on the other battery coming across to the other battery the negative has the shunt attached i've put a sticky pad on the bottom edge of the of the uh, shunt and i've stuck it to the battery to stop it bouncing around and then all of my negative connections, all of them, are now connected to the shunt, including the link to this battery, to the other battery. And the positive has just got the link to the positive of the other battery. That's it. That's all that's there. Okay, so that's all connected. The next thing is, obviously we'll connect the internal, and then I'll connect the positive to the positive here. That will power the shunt. Okay, so next stage is to find the com link, which I think is here. This is this is in your Smart Connect in your Odyssey link, and then to plug in. Let's see if I can do this. Okay, so in here, into the end. Doesn't matter which one of these terminals it goes into. There we go, that's plugged in. And now we've got, turn the power on in the van with that switch. Then just in the end here, got a flash in blue. So there's a reset button there. Now I've got two minutes to connect the positive terminal on the battery. Okay, so I've got the shunt cable connected to the positive now and the negative connected and what I've got up here is I have, you can see that flashing, a green flashing light. Okay, so I've plugged the um, com link into the top of my Odyssey link and I've paired, and you can probably see this right. There you go. So you can probably see that green flashing LED every five seconds. And that means that it's paired. The reset is this side. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get some double sided tape and I'll stick this just here out the way. And just to show you, I've turned the diesel heater on, which Currently, yep, currently is preheating. So previously, this would never have shown on my um, on my display, but now we can see that it's drawing 7.8 amps. Uh, so it is currently working. Which is good, and we'll see once the glow plug goes out, that will drop down. I've also got on the um, the inverter, and I'm charging a, my radio. So yeah, it's fairly straightforward to do. Doesn't give you any more display just gives you a more accurate reading. So nothing else pops up on the screen once you've got it um, connected. It just, it just shows you the actual load that you're pulling from the battery, whereas previously it wouldn't have shown this. It would have shown it as being zero. So the difference is now it's showing that it's discharging the battery, whereas previously 
it would have shown that it was idle yet your voltage would have been falling so it, it just gives it a much more accurate readout so you guys pulling almost 10 amps the diesel heater obviously we're showing that the battery's charging because I've just turned the power back on And there we go. Fairly simple. I'm going to get the um, I'm going to get the the communication link now attached. So I'm going to get the communication link now attached to the side of the um, of the power box and put the battery. Um, battery doors away and then I'll come back to you and show you the finished result okay so the diesel heater is now winding down drop it down to 2.9 amps and the comlink I've used um, velcro rather than the double-sided sticky tape they give you just because in the event of me needing to repair this at any point it's going to be a lot easier to tear that off and be able to see the light and the reset button so uh, I've used double sided velcro there and just tuck the wiring up and out the way um, and this just obviously goes into the Odyssey link so everything's turned on there I'll just go back outside now and put the covers back on the battery and the job's all done and there we go Battery box is all tucked away, tidy again, all the wiring back where it was. And she's good to go. Perfect. Well there you are, there's another job done on the van. Um, nice to be able to trust 100% what the BM Pro is telling you. So this just enables you to do that. Um, if you haven't modified your van you won't need it, but if you have modif modified it if you fitted um, an inverter, if you fitted uh, a diesel heater, if you've gone direct to the battery, you are in effect bypassing your battery management system and you will need to address that down the track. Anyway, it's a simple enough job. Hopefully this has been some help to you. Um, if you like what we do, please give us a thumbs up and like and subscribe. It really does help our channel. Thank you. Next time.